Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day today. And yeah, I'm not doing a second show as last time. Screw that. So, who stole my cheese? Tutorial 4. Did you steal my cheese? Okay, fine. This, this, I, this is the tutorial where I show you how to make a simple and actually wait, I don't want you to read what I wrote in the instructions. It's embarrassing. Okay, so, um, basically this is, this animation is also embarrassing. I used a cat for cheese instead of a mouse. Before I start the tutorial, I'm going to show you the animation first. So, this is the animation. This is the tutorial where I show you how to make a simple little storyline animation. So, let's dig straight in. Who stole my cheese? Oh, uh, what cheese? The cheese I left a little while ago. Did you take it? Uh, maybe? How dare you take my cheese? If you ate it, I will kill you. It's okay, there's plenty of cheese to go around. Oh, thanks. Not a problem. See, it's a really short animation. Okay, so, now that we got that in mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to make the same animation. If you noticed, I made a lot of mistakes, and there was a few bugs. Too late to fix them now. Tori already started, and it's like, I don't know, a minute, two minutes, three minutes in. Anyways, with that being said, let's begin. So this is a new project. This is the cat who's, uh, who, who loves that cheese. So, um, I'm just gonna get all the characters done. First, sorry about this, but I'm gonna have to see the cat's name. I forgot, I forgot the cat's name. Oh, Cat Topica. And we're just gonna get all the characters. So, cat, then we have a fox. So, this is the sprite library. You gotta pick sprites. Let's see, category all animals, fantasy, letter, P. Okay, sorry about that. There was like a little bug, a little bit of bugging, and then. Scratch to offline editor, stop responding. Everything's back to normal. We can continue. So, as you can see in the category, there's an, uh, all people things. This is the story is mainly about animals, so we'll get the two animals. Fox. Okay. Then we have the dove. Whoops, sorry. We'll just use that one for the cheese afterwards. Um animals. Dove. Like, honestly, if you really enjoy doing this, you can obviously, you know, make it, like, work harder. Oh my god. Like, you can obviously put more detail into the character, and, yeah, pretty much. I think I already taught you how to do this, so I'm just gonna quickly draw the cheese. I'm also going to draw the stage background, and, um, we'll catch up as soon as I'm done. Okay, I'm back, and I finished drawing the cheese and the stage background. Okay, I don't know if, you like, if you're a fan of me being back, but it doesn't matter. We're going to continue this tutorial at all costs. Okay, so, now we can actually start the scripting, because this little pile in the middle looks really messy. And with my OCD, this is not looking good. Oh, there's one last costume I forgot to draw. So, yeah, you remember how the cat got angry at the early end? I mean, mad. So, I'm gonna copy his paste and paste his name. Right here, second. And we're gonna duplicate this one. And I'm gonna write, gets mad. And I'm gonna fill his eyes with hatred. If that does, if he doesn't look mad, then I don't know what does. Okay, so we got everything started. Now we can start the animating process or the script writing process, whichever one you want. 
Yes, I forgot to rename my box, but I don't care. So one green fly clicked. Show. And we're gonna move the cat right about here. The cat's gonna be there. It's X position. It automatically fills it for me. But with my OCD, I'm rounding it to the nearest fixed place. Click on it to run, and boom. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the box. Um, for the fox... Oh, I just realized something. Go back into costumes, and I'm actually- Since the fox is flip facing the wrong way, at, on this little corner where the centering thing, there's this flip left and right. There. Now it's- Now it's facing the right way, and we can tell it to show. And where is it gonna go? It's gonna go right here. Like always, it automatically fills it. I'll show you an example. See, it just goes and it fills automatically. I'm gonna round this. And boom. There we go. So, that's done. The dove. The dove actually doesn't come in until later on. This is the first time we're learning hide. So, we tell, once it hides, gone. See a dove, we'll miss ya. Same thing with the cheese. Here's a simple trick. See this one green fly click hide? You can drag it down here. And drag it to both of them, and boom. Magic. Just so simple. I'm gonna click the green fly. Okay, now that everything... Now that the story has officially begun, we're gonna get this block. Say for two seconds. Obviously, the cat isn't happy. Oh wait, sorry. I also forgot to switch it to just the regular costume. Because in the end, he does actually change the first costume, but we're not there yet. So it's gonna say, where's my cheese? Where's my cheese? <coughs> actually, this probably isn't gonna be exactly the same story because I didn't memorize it word for word. What what do you think I do on my spare time? Memorize the story word for word? No! I don't know why I put these in capitals. But this is annoying. No, just kidding. Okay, so, I think you already noticed, I showed you this in the last tutorial for the, um, game where you can broadcast. So, for the story, this was actually taught for me by my grade 4 teacher, which I am really thankful for. But, what he said was, um, he told us that... <laughs> To make broadcast less confusing, you should broadcast the message, new message, something to relate with. But obviously, this is a storyline, and with my advice to you, I say you do it in alphabetical order. You broadcast A, then you broadcast B, C, D, D, and so on. Yes, this is so that it, it just isn't really that confusing anymore, and you can easily find out where every piece is in the story. So, now what happens when I receive A? So when this guy receives the message A, what is he gonna do? <coughs> Sorry. He's gonna have to say something. Damn it. Uh... What? W A K T. Yeah, sorry about activating the capital because I'm doing this one handed because I have to carry the microphone in one hand. Sorry about that. Okay, so then, once he says that, he's gonna have to broadcast the next strip of message B. When I receive B, it's pretty straightforward from here. I think you get it. 
when I receive B. You know, you can just duplicate this if you're lazy. The I hear a little while ago. Two seconds broadcast C. I hope you can follow along because I really think this is straightforward after I explained the first thing. If you can't follow along, you can obviously check out my project. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna upload the buggy version. Okay fine, the bug isn't even that bad, the cheese just floats to the wrong spot. You can easily change that just by changing the cord. It's not that hard. Okay, so then it will be when I receive C. <coughs> um wait, what does he say? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I actually forget what happens. I'm just gonna change up the story a little. Um, one second. An event broadcast. Whoops. Broadcast D. Okay, so when I receive D, it's gonna repeat 10 times. What is it gonna do? It's gonna move. It's gonna move closer to this poor fox. It's gonna change Y by three. <coughs> and it's gonna wait 0.5 seconds. So I'm gonna make it look a little bit more animated. Go into looks and go for costume cop cap top cap the pop. Okay, I can't pronounce it anymore. So now Oh no. This bug is even worse than the other one. Okay, so it actually changes Y. It's supposed to change X. Sorry about that. Okay, change X by 3. And let's take a look. Oh, this is a problem. 0 0.1. Try that again. Stop. <clears throat> okay, so then once this is done, he gets mad. If you ate my cheese. If you ate my cheese, I will kill you. Broadcast E. Okay, so at this point, the dove comes in. Our nice dove who won the character award because the dove is just so nice. When I receive E, what is it gonna do? It's gonna show. It's gonna put it's gonna it's just gonna come right in our face and it's gonna be like, you're gonna deal with me. Okay, but you get it. And it's gonna say there is plenty of cheese to go around. Whoops, forgot the H. Okay, so there is plenty of cheese to go around. And broadcast F. We're, near, we're approaching the end of the story, and I'm happy that this is a short one. Like, if it was a long one, I'd be suffering. So when I receive F, okay, fine, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to visually comprehend this one. Okay, I also need to put this show. Oh, I just remembered something. The dove isn't centered. Okay, now it's centered. Whoops. Sorry, it's not supposed to be so low. So, Y100. This is the Y position it should be on. Now it looks pretty good. So, once it broadcasts, it's going to show. This is cheese one. So, it's going to go to right here. I'm going to round it because I'm OCD. Okay, so then, um, it's gonna go here, and I don't know if you notice or not, but there's this glide function. You choose how long it takes for this piece of cheese to glide to the fox. Okay, it automatically fills it for me. One, three, five. 
negative 55. Okay, see? Glides perfectly to the fox. And it's gonna hide. So, there's one. I'm just gonna drag this stuff in here. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of changing because it doesn't, this time it doesn't glide to the fox anymore. Where is the cheese? Oh, it's hidden. Here it is. So it's just gonna glide to the cat instead. Negative 120. Five. <coughs> Sorry about coughing in the video, it might sound really bad. Um, then it's gonna broadcast the message G. And when the cat gets G, G's on his report card. Oh, by the way, does G stand for good? Don't worry, it's not that bad. Um, say, thanks. Whoops. Okay. Broadcast. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Wait, what comes after G? It's totally not H. Okay, when I receive H, say, not a problem, anytime, and then story ends. Let's see if this looks good. Where is my cheese? Have you seen my piece of cheese? Uh, what cheese? The cheese I left the okay spelling mistake already. If you ate my cheese, I will kill you. There's plenty of cheese to go around. Thanks. Not a problem. This is annoying. Bugs and spelling mistakes. Well, don't worry. Bugs is an opportunity to learn. <coughs> Sorry, spelling mistakes, but um, this isn't grammar class. Little while ago. Oh yeah. Okay, I forgot to switch costume function because it stayed as this costume. So, um, what cheese? This is supposed to be a question mark. Oh no, I can't reach. This is not good. Let me put down my mic. So annoying. Why'd they have to put the question mark on the other side of the keyboard? Um, other than that, I don't think there's much stuff else. So, let's just watch. Where is my cheese? Have you seen my piece of cheese? Uh, what cheese? The cheese I left here a little while ago. Um, if you ate my cheese, I will kill you. There's plenty of cheese to go around. Thanks. Not a problem. Anytime. Wahoo! We're done! The sweet joy of victory. Nothing felt nearly as good. See you guys in the next tutorial. I honestly don't know what we're doing. We're probably going to make a semi-advanced game, but only time will tell.